and and so Radka, I've already done your introductions. If there's anything you can add before you dive into this incredible talk, um, please do. And right off the top, I just want to thank you so much for sharing with us. So I'm going to make you, um, I'm going to pin you so we get full view of you. Off you go. Oh, and you need to be, uh, you need your screen share. Yeah. Screen share. Oh, yeah. Let me come back here. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I, you know, I always joke, like, you know, if I could do this, then anybody can. <laughs> um, screen share. Sorry, right there. There we go. Coco, there we go. You got it. You're there. And then I'm going to. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So you got that, Radka? Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. Somebody is waiting to get in. <laughs> well, good evening, everyone. Jennifer, yes, we know each other for a long time. You know, when we met first time, when I was touring in Ontario and Zvonka brought me in a coffee shop and for meeting with you, because he said, you need to talk to Jennifer. <laughs> and it is like 20 years. I go. <laughs> yeah, I am actually this month. It is 24 years when I'm at the Choose Plus company, and then it's quite a history of it. <laughs> then I will. Oh, now I disable this. Then, uh, why thyroid self care? Then, thank you again for beautiful introduction, Jennifer, and thank you for inviting me to be doing this. And. And actually thyroid, it became my passion when I was, uh, when I started my nutritional practice and I was still finishing my master's in nutrition, almost everybody who came in my office had a digestive problem and some kind of problem with thyroid. Mostly it was this, which we call the subclinical hypothyroidism. It means it's, it's actually even tests, they don't, because we will be talking more about in the details about the, what kind of tests to run, but very often it looks normal, but all symptoms that are there. Then I decided to do my actually uh, a master thesis on subject of the thyroid imbalances. And then I did that and now, and that brought big passion for a long, long time to study uh, why why people it's actually one of the most underdiagnosed symptoms in a in a medicine western medicine and it's not only in the uh, western countries so they have big problem in the, all around the world and uh, for example in india it's like epidemics there then then it's something which it's very important to address. And yeah, then let's dive into it. <laughs> oh, it's, I have to click here. Then, you know, it is, it is little gland, but has big role. And there are all the symptoms and we will go more in the details in the symptoms They are all but the bottom line, if your thyroid is not working, so not you are not working. And because, can you see my screen? Because I see on the sidebar, uh, if I click this, do you see me? Uh, we see your, your slide, Radka, and then I've got you on the side there. So we you see do. You. Perfect, perfect. Because I click it just the yeah. speaker view because it was covering my screen. Then, you know, because... The thyroid hormone, it's involved, it's unlocking metabolism in every cell in our body. And we have over six trillions of them. Then that it's why you will see this is cascades of the symptoms because it's really influenced everything in you from the metabolism, temperature, heart function, nerve brain function, muscle strength, uh, 
gastrointestinal mobility, fertility. It's a big one. And I have specific presentation just about the thyroid and fertility. Then we will a little bit touch on it. And if anybody is interested, we can run different talk about that. Then in my nutritional practice, uh, in a school which I was taking at Edison Institute of Nutrition, my master's of nutrition, they were taught to use the nutritional symptomology questionnaire. I, it was fascinating because, you know, when we go in a medical office to see our doctor, they have for us maximum five minutes. And then they don't have even time to ask you what kind of symptoms do you have. They are always just, they are running on your tests and it is a normal range. They send you home. And very often with the underdiagnosed uh, hypo or hyperthyroidism, they give you anti-anxiety or antidepressant medication because this is your main symptom. Then, then with the symptomology questionnaire, it's a lot of questions there. And, and people, if they have these symptoms, they answer these questions but nobody asked them before these questions then you could see these are all possible symptoms just with the low thyroid function from the motion sickness cold hands and feet and it's a big one if i see somebody who's constantly cold <laughs> right away if i see uh, especially ladies which they are thinning hair uh, right away <laughs> i think thyroid is you know flaky, dry, fresh skin, hair loss, uh, sensitivity to cold. We already talked about it. Not feeling good in the morning. Start slow in the morning and started to gaining speed in the afternoon, which is completely opposite. If you have adrenal exhaustion, you are okay in the morning and you are getting tired through the day. And um, then there's other symptoms here sleeplessness, that it's very important because uh, uh, being restless, uh, that is, I see so all the time. And you, Jennifer, you are a fitness trainer. You know, some people, they say, yeah, they are allergic to exercise. But if they say that, I very often ask them, like, when you exercise, do you feel energized or tired? And very often if people, they have this thyroid disbalances, they feel exhausted. Exercise makes them feel worse. Mm. And I would love to actually invite people to go in the chat and share, you know, if what, what resonates with you, if you, you're looking at this list, because Radka, is this like one of three pages of, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy to send it out. And, and, you know, if you see any symptom there, just put it in a chat. Yeah. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean if you have that symptom, you have a low thyroid function. But as we go, I will show you how you can test your thyroid at home. A very simple uh, test. It's not a diagnostic tool, but gives you a little bit guidance. Yes, it's great. I'm so excited for that. So yeah, there's this is a lot. We talked this afternoon. We're not going to go through all this list because it's it's a little lengthy. But you know, we're gonna maybe Radka, you could share the next screen. So whatever you see here that resonates with you. Go in the chat and let us know because it will actually help us to have a a, a great conversation here. Um, all right, very good. Okay, sorry, Radka, I didn't want to. You and I were gonna kind of have this little. That's talk. right. No, 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 let's talk. It's it's, it's funner <laughs> for for everybody. Sinuses. I have a friend, my dearest friend, and that was her big thing. She constantly had a sinus problem and uh, and be irritable and mood swings. That it's it, it's actually like torture for a person and because they don't know how they will react to the situation because they are not in the control. It's their brain in the control in this point or their uh endocrine system because it's all this is gets influenced by not proper thyroid function depression we will go more in the details in that and then the fertility i already mentioned it is the big one and i don't know if you know anybody who uh who has to go through this hormone crazy treatments to be able to have baby or uh, it it is incredible. It's uh, really, uh, but because you know, endocrine system it's so sensitive. It's 
our body is functioning in that perfect, we call it homeostasis. Mm -hmm. And then it's, uh, it doesn't like to be disturbed. And endocrine system is one of the most sensitive in that one. And if the disbalance starts to go, uh, nothing, it's everything is stopping to working with us. And in mostly about infertility for women, but it can be the same as for men, uh, it's really affecting ovulation. Some of these women, actually, they don't ovulate at all. Mm -hmm. And it's about, it's difficult to get uh, uh, conceived, right? Well, and so you and I were chatting today and you had shared, which I thought was a little startling, um, that there's um, there's no money in, <laughs> I know this can can be controversial, but there's no money in, uh, in helping to um, fix the, um, what did you say? Because it's so basically fertility treatments cost so much money and then to address the real problem is actually really cheap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you look at it, like even if you end up being taking thyroid medication, right. <laughs> It's a few dollars compared to the hundred thousands which you have to spend to go to the infertility clinic. Right. Yeah, right. Because it's not covered by Medicare even here in Canada, right? Yeah. Then let's now talk a little bit how the thyroid, how where where it's made that very very powerful hormone. Then it's actually our thyroid gland. It's here on the neck, and it's why and it has this shape of the butterfly. It's why butterfly it's this uh, symbol for the thyroid and um, then it's small gland if you don't know about it it means it's it's good <laughs> if you started to know you have thyroid it means something is getting <laughs> wrong yeah. and it works of the on the negative uh, biofeedback inhibition then uh, our hypothalamus it's the main part of the brain where all our endocrine system it's actually is the director of the endocrine system how everything will be working i did talk to with the thyroid um hormones uh the hypothalamus it's telling to pituitary gram to release thyroid stimulating hormone by the thyroid regulating hormone mm -hmm. then this is all that story with start and thyroid stimulating hormone will tell your thyroid gland to make now thyroid hormone. And mostly thyroid hormone, it's T4. It means has the four iodines atom. Then it's tyrosine amino acid, which has four iodine atoms uh, attached to it. It's why it's called T4. And make some T3 and some calcitonin. It's why it's important for the bone function as well and health. But what it's tricky, and we will go more in the detail as we speak, it's that T4 hormone, it's actually not the active hormone. What it's active is the T3 hormone. When a specific enzyme take that one iodine away, and make it active T3 hormone. And this is one which is unlocking the cellular metabolic function in our body. Mm. And we will be talking where that conversion is happening and so on. Then very often, if you get a thyroid hormone test, what a doctor will prescribe is to do like TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone and T4. In some cases, it gives some kind of picture, but in most cases, it doesn't. Because like you are looking for a little needle in a forest, but just with these two uh, tests as well, then that it's very important to use. Oh, I will go more in the detail. Mm -hmm. Then I talk a little bit about cell. Then I'll, we are all built from the cells. And if you have healthy cells, we have healthy body because all our organs, everything is built by the cells and we have trillions and trillions of them. And they, are, they depend on what we put in our body, how we think, if we are stressed out to the max, what we breathe and so on. And, but what is very interesting in our cell is something which we call mitochondria or mitochondrion. 
And this is what is that energy factory in our body. And what it's interesting is mitochondria, it's actually through the evolution, it's actually bacteria which started to live in the symbiosis within our cells. And, and then it actually has their own DNA, it's circular DNA, not the spiral as out in our nucleus. Then it, it's just fascinating. And it's mitochondria, it's um, passed through the generation through the mother. Then it's why scientists, anthropologists, they use the mitochondria to find all the lines down to the almost Adam and Eve. <laughs> it's just a little bit. But it's mitochondria depends on one thing, and it's our thyroid hormone. Oh. And then if that, because it's that mostly T3, it's opening that machinery, biochemical machinery, when the mitochondria is making that energy, that ATP. Mm -hmm. And and it's a Sorry, lot of... Guys. <laughs> It's good. it's good. I have actually just lectured about mitochondria and thyroid hormone. You're a scientist. I know you, of course you do. But it's, I mean, when you understand the, the cell breakdown, it actually helps us to understand the bigger picture of, of the importance of the, uh, the thyroid. And also, you know, whenever I heard before uh, in anything about thyroid, honestly, I always thought about the Seinfeld episode. And if you've watched the, the Seinfeld episode, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. uh, right? With Elaine. Anyway, sorry to interrupt, but it's it's it is science, and it's it's really. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the the, the science geeky part of it, and it's quite fascinating. So, I love it. Uh, right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And and yes, please. Uh, this is discussion, right? And um, again, if any scientist or somebody would like to read this paper, you will see even scientists, they don't have yet answers. Right. You know, we are still looking like what is that all the machinery going on and make it even more complicated. Our brain is actually doing that T4, T3 conversion on their own. It's why the symptoms of the brain fog, mood swings, depression, it's so high in any kind of thyroid imbalances mm, wow. then now what hurts is conversion to t4 t3 because this conversion it's not happening in a thyroid gland right it's peripheral then it's happening mostly in our gut in the liver and in our heart and in our brain then then if we can have its poor gut health, it will not help you to have a healthy conversion stress. In my opinion, as I am studying this through the whole life, <laughs> the wellness, stress is key factor of any kind of illness. Mm. Starting with the thyroid disbalances to the cancer and everything between, mm. immature death, aging, so on because and i am not talking only stress emotional stress i'm talking nutritional stress mm -hmm. oxidative stress you know if you feel being not fulfilled not needed in a in a world mm -hmm. this kind of feeling of desperation and i know we are not living in the easiest time of the humankind and then find something which will make you happy and smile just Actually, I love that, Radka. I think that's a that's a really important part of what you're sharing here. So the stress we, I, you know, when I hear the word stress, I think, oh, it's you know the the worries of the day. But you're right, not having a sense of purpose or mission or belonging or reason for being here that is such a kind of a listless way to right. I mean, sometimes I think our our mission carries us better through the stress of life. That's right. Yeah, because very often if you look at it, some people which they are going through and they still smile, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they still have the hope. Then then it's and, and we talk about this earlier. It's that mindset, right? right? How we it's not what stress can do to us, but, the, but this is how we deal with stress, mm -hmm. that it's very important to really think about it. 
liver function. And we have special program and we will be talking about it at the end, how we can actually improve this liver, liver function and better uh, gut health. Low calorie diet, I will go more in the details about that. Processed food, processed food is something which we um, should not have that food part in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's chemical it is chemical which will not make you your cells nice and healthy and happy mm -hmm. your uh, micro flora in your gut will not recognize it as the food then it's processed food it really is again such a, a very sad thing what happened to humankind mm -hmm. and oxidative stress when we talk about oxidative stress, it's like inflammation and oxidative stress. They go hand by hand together. But if you can imagine what oxidative stress is, if you cut apple, for example, and leave it in the air, then what will happen to that apple? It goes brown. That's right. And because of the oxidative stress. And what this... Uh, uh, the free radicals, what they do, they destroy not only fats, but they destroy the proteins as well. Then, then it's uh, our human cell it has something which we call cellular membrane around, which is mostly the brain of the cells because all interaction from outside, inside of the cell that happening in the cellular membrane, which is mostly fats, mm -hmm. very sensitive poly polyunsaturated fatty acids which they get very easily destroyed by the stress mm -hmm. now this oxidative stress it's something the free and free radical it's something which we pay off because we are alive because as that mitochondria it's making that energy has some waste out mm -hmm. with it too and which is something which we call this free radicals then for example if you exercise, right, Jennifer, mm -hmm. then exercise is very healthy. Mm -hmm. But if you are not protected from this oxidative stress, mm -hmm. it actually can increase because you are increasing your metabolism, right? You breathe heavily and so on. Then it's why and, and what you advocate to have that exercise with the nutrition going together. Yeah. Right. I'm smiling because, you know, I've had people say, well, then I shouldn't exercise because it's causing oxidative stress within my body. But actually, that's not the that's not the message at all. The message is, is how are you offsetting that oxidative stress? It's, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <Still doesn't> work <laughs> out. <laughs> and, you know, I, and we have protection, you know, we, if you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, you are protected because there's right. all these antioxidants that are coming from. That's right. The foods we eat can protect you from the oxidative stress, except processed foods are going to contribute to that oxidative stress. But exactly, exactly, exactly. And again, we have paper about it. It was published in 21, how oxidative stress is actually destroying our thyroid. Then mm. if anybody wants to read it, I'm happy to send it to you. <laughs> mm, well, there it is. You can Google that. Yeah. 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 Then, then what helps the T4, T3 conversion? Follow anti-inflammatory diet. No gluten and minimum daily. I this is when it start to become not popular. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I was in my nutritional practice. When I said some people they had to really cut gluten and actually no gluten, they got so upset. That's right. Because yeah. it is it is addiction, right? It's mm -hmm. it's opioid. It's really playing with our brain. But especially in uh, autoimmune disease, uh, it was done study and uh, and they found the ladies which they had, people which they had autoimmune disease, Hoshimato, mm. and they cut them off the gluten, 90%, 94% they improve, 94%. Just cutting the gluten. They didn't have to go to the very heavy duty medications. Then it can be very powerful. Mm -hmm. I am, uh, I sometimes love to have baguette, but I pay for it. Right. <laughs> yeah, you, you could feel it. Then again, and minimum daily, because they are really 
very highly inflammatory uh, foods. Nine to 13 servings of raw fruits and vegetables daily. And that it's not easy if your fist is the serving. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if you if be honest, honest, how many did you have today? You know, it's, you will be possibly. I don't want to talk about it for today. <laughs> <laughs> That's my truth. <laughs> Thank God we have the solution for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Essential fatty acids, again, because they are that building block of every cell in, and of your hormones. It's why with cholesterol, it's not so easy it's just because the cholesterol is building block of our hormones, then mm -hmm. uh, it's not such a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And eating enough calories. And why is that? Because if you... Because our hypothalamus, it's regulating metabolic rate in our body, how it's regulating our thyroid, pituitary thyroid hormone. Then if we started to have low calorie diet, um, then our body shuts down T4, T3 conversion. It's actually start to produce something which we call reverse T3. Uh, what reverse T3 does it actually goes on the sides where it, it's unlocked that me mechanism on the cell started to make that energy mitochondria. Then T reverse T3 actually occupy that side and that metabolism slow down. Amazing. And it's it's very logical because uh, it's it's protecting you not not dying from. <laughs> because you are constantly running fast the metabolic rate, but you don't have enough calories in you. Right. Then it's protecting your body. And we will go more, it's why it is crazy your, your diet. Very often people, they come out with Worse. having problem with the thyroid because the thyroid doesn't know anymore what to do. Right. You know? It's yeah. just amazing how fascinating the, the human body, eh? Like it innately knows what to do. We just need to get out of the way, you know? We, yeah. we kind of mess it up, right? With our choices. Yeah. So that's, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In zinc and selenium, because they are part of that uh, enzyme, which is doing that conversion, T4, T3. Again, we talk about stress and gut health. Right. Now let's talk about how you can- This is cool. Measure, <laughs> how you can measure- your thyroid yourself. This is not diagnostic tool, but it's Dr. Broda Barnes, which he wrote in the 50s, uh, this amazing book about the thyroid imbalances. It was first time and he really brings up how it is uh, epidemics in our society. And then he developed this test, which is called based upon a temperature test. And then before you go in bed, you put your thermometer beside your bed, and it's and the first thing in the morning before you started to walk, right away put it under your armpit and measure your temperature. And if that temperature is 97.8 to 98.2 Fahrenheit, then you are fine, or 36.5 to 36.8. It is if it's below. 36.5 or too high, then it can show you, you might to have thyroid imbalances. And again, it's not diagnostic too, but if you find this, then you can actually now go and see your doctor or naturopath or whoever you use as a, your uh, care provider and ask to run thyroid test. I am so going to bed with my thermometer tonight. <laughs> I will send you all that, uh, how to do that. <laughs> it's easy. I can do that. We can all do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will share it with you because it's a little bit more to it. It's if it are still ladies, which they have menstruation cycles, you have to look at it different days, but just make it easy. I, I will send you that protocol. All right. Liana's already bringing, she's got hers packed. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Vicky said she's really liking the science over here. And Ange Angela's also say, "Oh wow, we got a lot of people who are into this. This is cool, great, amazing, Radha." Okay, sorry, I keep, I keep. No, no worries. It's making fun. 
And then now about thyroid test function. Again, I will take, I will send this client aside to Jennifer and she can share it with everybody because I will not go here too much in the details. Actually, I would recommend everybody take a snapshot of this one because this is the conversation you need to have with your health practitioner if you want to do more testing um, um, for thyroid function discovery, I'll say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we talk about the thyroid stimulating hormone and optimal is 0 0.4 to 2. For a long time, it was 0 0.5 to 5.5. It's too big window. It's When it hits 2, it's right away you should have your red flag up and investigate more then it, it was a lot of fights in the endocrinology science and they finally make it less mm -hmm. but unfortunately a lot of blood tests they are still letting it go until five and this then if then if you are get your tsh measure ask your doctor to send you the results then you can read yourself mm -hmm. how it was actually i highly recommend if you don't have a doctor that's going to work with you on this get yourself a naturopath have this conversation and radka's right that 2.0 number it, it's if it's over that it's too high guys i don't know if you heard her say that we had this conversation this afternoon it's a really big deal so don't don't like advocate for yourself and your health on this one so sorry yeah no absolutely Total T4, total T3, you want to see if that conversion is happening, right? If you have too much T4, a little T3, it means like that active T3, it's not around too much. Mm -hmm. And look for free T4, T3. It's give, it, that is actually tricky because if you have a, a physician who is not trained in this, how to read these tests, then it doesn't mean too much to him. Then it's why it's good to get person they know how to read this test. Mm -hmm. Thyroid antibodies, it's much and must, and this is so overlooked. And that should be zero. It will because right away, if you have any autoimmune problem going on with thyroid, it's right away goes up. And I, you know, it can be sometimes 200, 600, how crazy even can be that. Mm -hmm. And that reverse T3, again, it will be showing are you, what is going on? If you have too much of reverse T3, are you on some crazy diet? You know, uh, we will be talking a little bit about intermittent fasting and so on. Zinc, selenium, vitamin D, iron. If you are low in this ones, this is again, all impairing that proper conversion T4, T3 and iodine levels. And I will go more in the details about this one because very often, and I was thinking like that for a long time too, you think, oh, I don't have enough iodine, it's why I have problem with my thyroid. And then I will take some iodine pills or eat a lot of seafood or kelp and so on. And now actually scientists are pointing out we have actually iodine, too much iodine in our food. And it's not because they are naturally occurring there, but because it's the, the, how it's processed. Mm -hmm. It's used iodine. For example, baked goods has so much in their um, conditioners, which is making it nice and fluffy. I know it tastes great, mm -hmm. but it's overloaded by the iodine. Daily products, it's not because cow eats a lot of kelp but because it's used for the sanitation and it's actually in europe and i th think now even in the states they are restricting restricting to use iodine for the sanitation or in the dairy industry well if you cut dairy then you scrap that <laughs> that concern right so yeah yeah so, yeah exactly and eggs, it's again, it's not in the chick in the egg, but it's for the chickens that are getting fed because that iodine is making nice and tasty, mm -hmm. right? And again, salt, some they have more uh, iodine, some less seafood and sea vegetables that it's natural, but even in cosmetic medication and dietary supplement, then then it's why I will recommend if you are getting full panel, get that iodine measure too. Mm -hmm. Because uh, 
can cause actually same problems that's too little, uh, too much and to your you thyroid. Can, yeah, and then you can see all the sources here. So it's kind of easy for there to be too much in your body. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like we can do all lecture just about cosmetics. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're going to save that for another time. <laughs> yeah. And again, we talk already about low calorie diet, not enough selenium, iodine, too much, too little, and so on. But let's talk a little bit about intermittent fasting because I am getting this question a lot because it's now really hot, buzzing thing to do. And then how that influence your thyroid then actually i found some research that they found intermittent intermittent fasting i mean like if you don't eat from 14 to 16 hours mm -hmm. it's actually very helpful for that conversion t4 t3 because you are making your liver healthier and your gut healthier then and that most liver is that the peripheral conversion happening it's in the liver and the gut that it's Nothing wrong with that. But red light is if you have suspicion or you know you have thyroid problem, can be hypo or hyper, and do like 24 or 48 hours fast. Because now your body will start to produce the reverse T3, mm. which healthy person can deal with. Like, for a few days, you don't have to have the metabolism running. Everything is slowing down. But for a person who is already Order having room. challenges with thyroid, it can really make big mess. Right. And then but just watch for that one. Yeah, I will. I will never do a long fasting if I know I have something with your thyroid going on. Right. And as you shared earlier today, um, that that can cascade and then just throw your body in for a loop, which it's hard to recover from. It takes time. Um, yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. just a bounce back and you're good. It actually sometimes takes a couple of weeks for the body to get back into that um, yeah. rhythm and rhyme. Yeah. Like, it, it, like, I mean, it's again, it's a huge stress on body. Right. And depression. It can, it's again, I have just <laughs> lectured just about this one. Mm -hmm. But it's, again, it's one of the most overlooked uh, under cause of any kind of depression and anxiety and mood swings. It's actually not proper thyroid function. And even that conversion T4, T3, because that is happening in our brain. Mm -hmm. Then, then very often, and I wish that it's true before, people that are put on antidepressants or anti-anxiety medication, they don't get fully checked the thyroid. It should be number one, number one. And uh, then how T3 works here because our brain regulates their own supply of T3 by converting T4 to T3. And uh, they use the specific enzymes, right? But what it's interesting they found when they were measuring the T3 in the brain, then it was deficient and the rest of the body was normal. It means it's really happening in our brain. Wow. Again, that's like having, again, it's stress, oxidative stress, because if we look the cells, uh, the brain cells or heart cells, which they are highly metabolic organs, right, they constantly running so fast, then each cell can have up to 800 mitochondria. And can you imagine wow. what is happening as the oxidative stress, right? right? Then, then, and the fat cells, they have no mitochondria, right? Then, then it's why it's so important to protect it with that, uh, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables that antioxidants to really slow down or uh, blunt that oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. And that again, it is, and now a lot of research is showing that they are even looking as the T3 being working as the neurotransmitter mm -hmm. himself. And if I do this lecture 
10 years later, probably will have some answer. Right. <laughs> yeah. Never ending subject. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and now with autoimmune dis disorders, like if it's several of them, like um, grave disease, but most common is Hoshimoto. And it's specifically in the women. And, uh, and if you talk to ladies, which they have Hashim Hashimoto, then it's like living the rural caster because sometimes they go hypo, sometimes they go hyper. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's crazy. It's a uh, heart palpitation and so on. Then again, it is why it's so important to measure that, uh, uh, thyroid antibodies if everything is fine well and I just if I could just add here so we're talking about the thyroid right now but I mean when we look at the quality of life and the impact even on longevity like it's really important to check and make sure your body is is in a healthy rhythm and rhyme for you right like this I believe in getting a baseline right I hate when my doctor tries to put me in you know the category charts and you know so this is why if you don't if you have not yet created a baseline for your health yet um, again find a, a natural naturopathic doctor and then just start that process because I think of this and I just think of the the how taxing uh, uh, deficient thyroid would have on your overall health and wellness over yeah. a lifetime. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, yes, we're kind of like zoning in on thyroid right now, but there's, if you pull that lens out and you just look at how that's impacting everything else, um, you know, you're talking about quality of life. And so is it worth for you to, um, you know, to zone in and, and get a little proactive about this? Uh, the answer is a hundred percent. Yes. So, absolutely think, absolutely yeah. and again we can have a lecture on that one mm -hmm. how it's very well known link breast cancer and thyroid dysfunction thank you that's kind of what i was alluding to so so thank yeah. you this is what i'm yeah. saying so like it's it's i know that yeah yeah so liana's sharing here she's been you know noticing some symptoms so just yeah we're honing in on the thyroid here but like pull that lens out and you can see how you know the the importance of that on your overall health is and again, I would say that, so Radka's slides, a couple of slides earlier where she broke down like the, the necessary blood work to find out where you're at. Um, it's worth the, you know, the, the appointments to create that baseline for yourself because you're gonna see changes in you, what's normal for you, not normal to what's on the chart on the wall in the doctor's office, who probably doesn't know much about any of this anyway. So it's kind of hard to trust that, right? So be your own first doctor because you are your own first doctor. Exactly. It's actually, I call it thyroid self-care and, and it can be our overall wellness self-care. Yes. Right? And again, if it's even paper about this, how <laughs> it's then we will not go really too much in the details, then how we can reverse or prevent autoimmunity. Again, healthy gut, mm -hmm. optimize your diet, toxins, which including gluten. Again, other huge toxin is the chlorine because it's halogen mm -hmm. and looks very similar. And uh, as, uh, then actually it's, uh, it's impair the it's this very similar structure as the iodine then when it's too much chlorine in our body and you have low iodine if you are fine with iodine it's okay but if you are low then actually thyroid use that chlorine as the building block of the thyroid hormone mm. oh wow then that it's by a toxin the the uh, the i what i'm saying <laughs> And, and it's that it's a chlorine molecule. It's very uh, toxic. And um, mm, now I've completely lost what they use the dentists to treat your teeth. All right. Yeah, this other one. Oh, yeah. gosh. <laughs> articles after articles, how fluoride can actually impair because it's again halogen molecule. Right. And it can do the same thing as the chlorine. Here, infections and stress, we already talked about this. Mm -hmm. I know we are slowly running out of the time, then probably if anybody's here more interested about the sexual dysfunction and thyroid, then again. talk on that too. 
<laughs> we can you could see it's not just a lady's problem it's the men as well mm -hmm. right then then all this it's uh, uh, very important to address mm -hmm. and this is actually from one of the most uh, famous fertility clinic in the US. And this is their normal range for the thyroid stimulating hormone, 0 0.5 to 5.5. When I saw that, I jumped. I literally jumped. Then now it's that this, this is mostly they are dealing with ladies and telling them that you have to go through this fertility or process and your thyroid is just normal. No, 5.5, it's too high as to being still in a normal range. That's right. So if you guys remember the slides a few slides ago, this number was 0 0.5 to two. And Brad at that point said two is, that's your red flag. So 5.5 is unacceptable here, actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's incredible. And then now that the nutrients, which we a little bit already talked about it, mm -hmm important for your function iodine again too little too much selenium brazil nuts they have selenium then if you eat two of them a day then you will get your what you need as the selenium level zinc mm -hmm. because it's very important for the secretion uh vitamin e a b12 b6 chromium they're all these building blocks mm -hmm. of the thyroid hormones amino acid tyrosine because this is what it's it's really the key <laughs> uh, building block for your thyroid and essential fatty acids. Mm -hmm. And then a food rich or the zinc, because people, they always ask me this question, and oyster, beef, crab, pumpkin seeds, cashew, chickpeas, and selenium, we talk about with Brazil nuts, tuna, halibut, sardines, turkey, and beef liver. Then here we go, the big picture, follow the anti-inflammatory diet, as much no gluten and minimum dairy, 9 to 13 servings of raw fruits, vegetables, to, because they are really that micronutrients in your body. Like macronutrients, they are your proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. We need them. But what is running that machinery in your body, that engine, is that a little bit of oil and that it's that it's micronutrients and you need them. Otherwise, your car will be not running. Your engine will be not running. Essential fatty acid, eat enough calories because more you cut it, you might be gaining more weight because you are constantly playing with your thyroid. But remember, Even... not processed food calories. That's right. right. So That's real, right. Because actually, if you're eating real, real food, food, eating lots of calories is... You're getting more nutrition in there. Exactly, exactly. Gut health, we talk about this. Adrenal function, big one. Actually, it's a lot of always discussion what we will treat first, adrenals or thyroid, mm -hmm. or both at the same time. You know, then that is again, lecture just about adrenals. Yeah, uh, I would actually love to do that one too, Radka. Actually, we'll talk about that because that, that's another one that I would love more more highlight yeah. if, if anybody feels me on that one give me a one in the chat if you want to do if you would like for uh us to do a adrenal talk because i'm all about that yeah and, and especially as women because we are constantly multitasking and everything right then it's it, it 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 can and it's again because you have all this endocrine system it's working together that's right. All our organs they are working to record. Right. Our body is made of systems, right? So when we yeah. support those systems, um, but again, it's all these systems working together, and that's the harmony of it, right? Exactly. And the same with insulin resistance, right? If it's your glucose level is going up and down all the time, then it doesn't really help the thyroid as well. Yes. Then uh now I will a little bit talk about the functional food, what you can use for help your thyroid. And, and this is what I actually use now for 24 years and it's Juice Plus. And Jennifer, I know you too, mm -hmm. <laughs> 23 years now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, then this is real food. And uh, I will not, it's, it's a, 
Actually, can you ask audience if they can put in a chat if they already heard about Juice Plus, if they can yeah. put one? Yeah, so if you've heard about Juice Plus before, actually, let's put a two since we just used our one. Put a two if you have heard of Juice Plus um, and put a uh, put a zero if you've if you've actually never eaten Juice Plus or heard about it. That, that will actually help us to to know more here. Yeah, how much details I have to go yeah. to. Yeah, so we've got one zero, just one zero. So uh, maybe maybe just give like a quick synopsis of what um, what it is about our plant powders are about, Radka, since most people. Okay. okay, absolutely. Absolutely. Then then it's, you look at this, it's 30 different fruits and vegetables and berries in a capsule form. It came on the market 30 years ago. At that time, it was completely revolutionary product. And then it you have, because they are growing this produce without any, pesticides, herbicides, so there are no GMO, then they can use whole plant. They use apple with seeds and everything. They use the orange with the rind, but if you have most vitamin C and so on, then you are getting like this whole plant, it's cramped in these capsules. And what is wonderful, specifically with the capsules, they have almost no sugar, then it's great for anybody who has any imbalances with sugar, for diabetes, uh, for and it's amazing for the cancer patients because they have to watch sugar level because sugar is cancer feature. And I remember when I was taking my course at the Edison Institute and even my professors that are using Juice Plus in their practice, it's like the Gerson therapy mm -hmm. in a capsule form. Mm -hmm. And it's Gerson, Dr. Gerson, what he did, it's a juicing. Uh, uh, regiment, right? Mostly the green leafy vegetables and so on. Then it's a lot of work to be constantly shopping and shopping and specifically for the cancer patients. They don't have that kind of energy to do so. Then it's it's a wonderful, wonderful way to get them that support, nutritional support. But it's it's for little babies, pregnant moms, to the people which they are actually on many different medications because it's just fruits and vegetables in a capsule. It's why thousands and thousands of healthcare professionals they are using Juice Plus in their practice. Mm -hmm. Then it's really the powder that this is the micronutrients in the capsule, mm -hmm. right? Nice. And and yeah, like we talk about this vitamin C, it's good. Absolutely. Apple has all over 25,000 different phytonutrients. And as they work together, they are repairing each other. Then it's so much better to have it in a natural form than artificial form. Like the form, how Mother Nature has made it for you. Well, and I just, if you can go back to that slide there, you know, okay. when I look at the powders here, um, and I'm, I'm thinking of Liana here because she and I've had this conversation before. But when I think about the nutrition in the Juice Plus powders, I think that it is the nutrition in these powders is as numerous as the stars in the sky. Mm -hmm. We're still discovering it, the benefits. Mm -hmm. We're just still discovering what it all is. And so this is for me why a vitamin could never compare with the nutrition that is in these little capsules because you know it is the whole you know peel seeds skin you know a uh, stem uh, and and um you know we don't get that when when we eat a vitamin right absolutely absolutely and and it's it's just no compare <laughs> it's absolutely no compare this is a food this is food and as you see this beautiful plant powder so they are 100% plant-based 100% vegan no GMO gluten-free has a testing NSF certified certifies even for the sports then athletes and the top athletes they can they know they are putting in the body something which will not surprise them when they do blood tests on them right which by the way the United States Performance Center <laughs> is, has their Olympic athletes eating all juice plus shakes capsules chews everything so actually there's a really great talk tomorrow evening on that if anybody's interested but that's a big deal because these are athletes who spend their time 
training, training, training for the big day where they need to step on the line and compete. And if there's anything in their bodies that tests uh, negatively, they're gone, <laughs> yeah. right? So it's nice to know that Juice Plus has that NSF certified for sport uh, because because these athletes, this is their job. And can you imagine being pulled from your job because of um, a substance that was discovered that you know we're unaware? And and I actually have an Olympic friend who that happened to, and oh. uh, it was devastating. Actually, I mean, if you can imagine your reputation being you know dragged through the mud, uh, it, it was it was just like it was just so tragic for her. Um, mm -hmm. Anyways, she ended up going on to win uh, an Olympic gold um, for Canada. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, and that was years and years and years later, by the way, because while all that was happening, it, she really did. It was uh, her, she, depression and everything from, you know, just right. Like think of the impact of that. So yeah, yeah. I know that NSS certified for sports stamp is, it sounds like, oh, it's got a stamp, but it's actually a really big deal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then it's independent laboratory, right? It's like the company has nothing to do with them. That's right. And again, then look at all these beautiful colors. All oh, this is you are putting in your body day in, day out. I will not live one day without it. It is my, I call it my nutritional seat belt. How do I? <laughs> <laughs> you can take it with you anywhere. Yeah. Like I... I, this was the only thing which I was sending to my mom in Czech Republic. She lived until 91. And uh, and I really believe she was with us until 91 because she was diligently eating juice plus, you know, and, and she had real challenges with her cardiovascular health. Me, if I can think about my gene bank, it's not good. My dad died when he was 60 of cancer and my mom on her side, everybody with cardiovascular diseases, then I have right away this big two <laughs> in my genome. And then I actually believe this is really playing with my epigenetics and I am giving chance to myself. Okay. You know? yeah. What's your gene bank like? That's a good question for everybody to think about tonight after this talk. Yeah, yeah. Gene bank and, like your medical conditions and your family tree. I like that. But yeah, yeah, and uh, and it's again DNA. It's not your destiny, right? It's it's what you decide to do, and definitely this nutritional seed belt it works for you, and we have it forty eight studies <laughs> behind it, and we have a uh, plant omegas and plant shake, and and it's what is beautiful on omegas. It's the again blend of five different. Uh, omega fatty acids mm -hmm. then it's not only three it's three five six seven and nine and nine. eight nine mm -hmm. always say eight yeah. <laughs> and actually seven when we talk about the cardiovascular health it's now so much research is coming out how omega fatty acid seven they are the key for the cardiovascular health mm -hmm. And then it's very, very important. And we have beautiful shakes, which they, they are this macronutrients, if you will, which you, gives you in your diet. And well, just, I want to share the shakes. Um, okay. I've got so many, um, I've got, I, I've got so many friends and family who share with me that the shakes, and I know for me, this is also the, 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 the case. They feel so good when I drink it. I literally feel like my esophagus, from the moment it goes in my mouth all the way down, I just feel like it's healing my body. You know, it got health. It just, it feels good going in. And, you know, that's really important because um, a lot of times there's just foods that, um, you know, are, that cause sensitivities like uh, gluten or dairy or sugar or caffeine, right? So it's just nice to have, I mean, we have our shake every single day and it's, it's, like, I love starting my day with that. I feel like I'm just coding, you know, my innards with that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and it's, I, I tried so many different ones when I work in a naturopathic clinic. And I, I have to say this shake tastes so good. I am drinking it for 24 years. 
Okay, so actually, you know what? I'm curious. If you drink, if you already drink a shake right now, can you please? And whether it's, uh, if it's juice plus, go throw a three in the comments. If you're drinking a shake, but it's not juice plus, throw a four. I'm curious because I think shakes is it's the easy way to get more, you know, exactly. your body, right? So remember, four if you don't drink juice plus. I'm curious who, who doesn't? Uh, but but because I, I just think everybody everybody has got to drink a shake you know every day it's it's uh it's kind of like the thing and kind of what breaks my heart is when i see um the and i know but whatever i'm just gonna say the canned ones i won't even say the name canned shakes you know I, a lot of seniors i see putting them in their basket and you know nutrition matters you know when it when it comes to adding something into your body every single day think about that right so you know for me i learned about juice plus through a diabetic client that i was training and uh, so like Radka was saying earlier, you know, juice plus has no sugar, water, sodium and um, the shakes, you know, I worked in a gym that had a, a, a wall of shakes. They, it was a shake juice bar. And I mean, when you, I looked at the quality, it didn't matter to them what they were selling and they weren't bad people. It was just, you know, it was a, it was an opportunity to make money for, for the juice bar. Right. But when you think about something you're going to do every single day, don't you want it to be adding to your health, right? Like, I mean, I get if you want to have a chocolate bar on occasion or a burger or whatever your thing is, a beer, you know, but if you are, are like, if your habit is something you're doing every day and, and even like your vitamin regime, like, don't you want it to like be adding? I mean, if you're going to put the money investment in that and then you're putting it in your precious body, like, of course you're going to want it to be doing something good. And that's how I always looked at Juice Plus was, um, I had two questions. Number one, um, is it doing good things for my body? And then two, is it uh, clinically researched? And so it checked off those boxes for me. So anyways, great to see. Thank you for sharing that, everybody. Um, and if you if you are interested in, uh, you know, more information about the shakes for yourself, uh, I would encourage you to reach back to the person who invited you here tonight and, uh, and just ask them for some more information. Maybe, maybe they'll, you know, have a sample for you. So all right. So, okay. Sorry, Radka. I just interested. No, no. It's I. I at this point, I don't care about. <laughs> it makes me nervous. <laughs> and uh, again, I, we know polyphenols how they are important. We have specific study done how actually juice plus is helping increase the polyphenols in our bloodstream, and then and now we have. 40 plus studies published in the peer review medical journals. And uh, that means a lot because I remember when I work in a cancer research in any conference event and somebody was trying to present there some nutritional research, most of the audience, they were just poo-pooing it because it was mostly what we call the observational studies. Then people, they get questionnaire, they fill it up and people, they lie. They lie about their diet. I saw it in my practice. They tell me they eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and they don't eat junk. But when I really went to the like, okay, then let's do diet diary. Then it started to <laughs> really look a little bit differently. But because Juice Plus is in a capsule form, then scientists, they can make placebo. Mm -hmm. And that is why we can have that randomized double blind placebo control studies because now it's scientific study and it's done on the humans and they are yeah they are doing it's a their blood tests and from the uh, gynecology oncology how uh, to the journal of american cardiovascular society to the journal of nutrition in england in australia we have studies done on all four continents. We have even studied done at University of Toronto, how it's increasing nutritional values. Then, then again, if anybody here is science geek, ask Jennifer, she can direct you where you can read all these studies on our Juice Plus website. We're proud of our studies, actually. If you are geek and you want to check it all out, please um, reach out to the person who, who invited you here and ask them, just say, I need and want to see the studies and, and we'll, be, we'll be happy to share that with you. And I wanted to add to here, like we have six studies that are showing how Juice Plus is decreasing oxidative stress. And we talk about this, how that it's detrimental for the 
uh, thyroid function, decreasing inflammation, improving immune system function, uh, improving your gut health, improving your skin health, healthier babies, healthier mom, healthier kids. And this is something which we have. It's the healthy stars for family. And I'm sure you have, Jennifer, your beautiful daughters in it as well. I have both my kids in it as well too. Now it's for 20 years, kids, they can be eating juice pass for free. Mm -hmm. If if adult, it's continued. And you can sponsor a child. They can be getting their juice plus fruits and vegetables for free. And this, there are some primary results now we have over two million kids in the studies both my girls are juice plus babies and avery my eldest is third year at U of T, and she still gets her juice plus for free <laughs> very nice very yeah. nice it, it is wonderful yeah my oh. kids there my son is 30 years old and he was the reason why i actually started juice plus because when he started to grow go grade one he started to develop pre-asthmatic condition and doctor wanted to put him on a puffer. I said over my dead body because I knew all the side effects. Then friend told me about Juice Plus and I asked, do they have any studies behind it? And this is now 24 years ago. And she said, yes, actually, how Juice Plus is decreasing oxidative stress, decreasing inflammation, improving immune status and improving nutritional status in the bloodstream of the humans. Mm -hmm. And I immediately started to look us on, on a capsules and within a few months, I was signing him for karate classes. And now 24 years later, he's an engineer and he's scuba dive master. Amazing. Amazing. Scuba dive master, right? Yeah. Some a kid who had struggled with asthmatic uh, symptoms. That's, I mean, geez, that's cool. Then he was the reason why I said yes to Juice Plus, and I'm so happy I, I did that. Definitely his health. <laughs> and he's still eating Juice Plus, but paying for it. <laughs> and and Jennifer, can you a little bit mention about our Jumpstart 2024? Sure. So if you guys have not heard about our Jumpstart 2024, it is the our Shred 10 program. This is a family-friendly lifestyle plan and as a fitness trainer i love this because you know i've i've worked in gyms and i've worked with people and i've done the caliper testing and you know i never liked that part of it because it felt very um for for the gyms that i was working with it wasn't for you know science based it was it was really for vanity and for sales actually um, so I love the jumpstart cause it's really about layering healthy habits on top of healthy habits. And, you know, if you are somebody who's brand new and you're like, well, you know, I'm not quite ready to let go of, you know, caffeine or reduce my, uh, my, my alcohol or, or, uh, processed foods or whatever, you don't have to, this is the thing about this shred is you can, you know, adopt just one habit by adding in juice plus, because that in itself is going to actually help your body, um, change at a cellular level first. And, you know, we just talked about the healthy stars for families. Well, um, you know, my girls, those chews that kids got, the, this was the tool that my husband and I used to teach our children to want to make those healthier habits. And today, both my girls, like I said, they're, you know, athletic and um, they're plant strong by choice. And it's not because we stood over them and said, you must, 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 you know, we were able to just back off of that and let them, uh, you know, enjoy discovering their own taste buds and foods. And, you know, over the years, this is the ripple effect of Juice Plus. And so it's the same thing applied with our jumpstart is, you know, you get to, you know, join this community where you're fully supported. We've got such, I mean, amazing resources. Um, you know, each of us has our community pods, if you will. And you get to add in what you're ready to add in. And like I said, a lot of people, their first step is just adding some capsules into their daily diet. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, maybe they, you know, I know for us in our group, we have our February fitness challenge, which is the 25 easy. And so, you know, over time, you're just kind of adding these things. It's so beautiful. Like, honestly, it's just for me, I, I look at Shred 10 as this beautiful journey into health that helps you to optimize your overall quality of life and longevity so that's it in a nutshell thank you thank you and it's again it's so it's not restriction of the calories right it is it is healthy program and this is what i love on it mm -hmm. and 
and we can have other lecture about our gardens. Yeah. <laughs> then, then we just help people not only to eat more fruits and vegetables, they can even grow them with our amazing aeroponic growing system. And again, if you are interested, ask person who invited you, can send you more information. Amazing. And I really believe Juice Plus, it's amazing fit for the thyroid self-care. Then again, thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer, to organizing this. And, and uh, if anybody has any questions, then yeah. I know we are very much over time. <laughs> over. Radka, thank you so much for sharing with us tonight. Um, before, if anybody has any questions, I'm going to come back in a second, but just thank you so much, Radka, for sharing tonight. Blessings to everybody.